Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And got a lot of very, very cool creations by a bunch of different authors again this week. Uh, so the very first creation here is the USS Nimitz RE by Don2K7. Uh, and the LCD work on this was done by Alicia, which we actually looked at in last week's look at the workshop video. Um, and this is the ship that they're all mounted in, so I'm really excited to see the interior on this as well. Figured I'd fly around the exterior a little bit, check it out here. This is uh, a very cool looking Star Trek ship for sure. Uh, neat, neat design here. It's kind of got a four to sell uh, pattern. Uh, I like this uh, section in between the upper and the cells over here. And you can clearly see the saucer section as well. And uh, yeah, that's just neat. It looks like it's going to have uh, some pretty potent thrust to it, as well as a lot of sneaky retractable turrets all over the place in the hull. Uh, so it actually looks like it would be quite uh, decent with combat as well. Uh, you can uh, see some of the turrets on the bottom side here as well. There's a ton on the uh, top side of the saucer. But it uh, looks like it's going to have a lot of uh, uh, offensive abilities, I would say. There might be more weapons that I'm not seeing quite yet. We'll uh, play with the weapons a little bit later there and get those all out so we can see what they're see what's going on there but uh yeah very very cool uh ship here and i believe on this uh, particular model this would be the uh, deflector here um on the front of the saucer now uh, a lot of the uh other star trek designs you'd see it somewhere down in this section but this is a uh, uh different format of a uh, star trek ship a really cool design i will say as well let's get a good look at the back side of this and see what's going on there too uh, yeah, that, that looks really neat. I love this uh, this top section over the saucer, um, how that mounts up to the uh, nacelles and things like that. Very, very cool design. Looks like it was quite the project to uh, to build all of this here. That's a pretty big ship, definitely. And also looks like we have a uh, way aboard down over here. Now, I left, I left this off the ground a little bit so we could get a better look at the bottom side of it. But, um, yeah, very, very cool looking ship here. Anyway, let's let's find a way on board here, and I'll uh, adjust the lighting as well. Uh, let's go right through here. This looks like a good starting point. Uh, I'm sure there's multiple ways in and out of the ship. But uh, here, let me try to adjust the lighting a little bit, see how this is looking. Uh, well, in this, this area here, it doesn't look like it has a lot of interior lights, so we'll keep the lights on a little bit here. This is really cool. Like the uh, the color scheme again, you got the uh, the red accents around here for a lot of the beams. There's also uh, some some really dark areas, um, and it all goes together really well. So yeah, first coming into the uh, this hangar at least, I, I have a feeling it has more more hangar areas. This would be more of a like an HV or a small vessel dock it looks like, um, and then we have another hangar we'll have to check out on the backside of the ship. Um, I like the way these cargo boxes are done up here. That's cool different colors involved in there as well and just a lot of detail throughout this area here like the use of the uh, I'm, well I wouldn't say that it's not black it's probably a very dark gray uh, with the whites uh, some lighter grays the reds um, and that's just in this one room I also it looks like we have some security going on up there but yeah very very cool looking hangar there and we can kind of see above that we're going to get into kind of a large area of, up above here as well we we'll get out of god mode and we'll walk around here and uh yeah and here's here's some of these uh, lcds that we've seen in that set looks like they're all kind of set up for the ship here i like the way that's done up too these are some pretty complex lcds as well and there was a lot of them um and that looks really really good i love love seeing this so we're on the uh uh we're on deck zero right now, I do believe. So that would be the lower deck and brig. Is there a brig in here? Well, let's, let's walk around. Let's see what we find. Got a nice little like waiting room over here. And here is our brig. Yes. S security over here. I love the, uh, the laser uh, LCD fence walls here. Oh, we even got prisoners in there. Oh, well, that's cool. I like, the, uh, I like seeing the, uh, the bunk beds in there, the bathrooms. It's all set up very uh, realistically, which is uh, really cool. We got uh, yeah, our staff over here, uh, mittens person or whatnot. Some more people uh, in a couple of the cells over here. 
Yeah, I like the uh, I like the uh, color of the uh, laser beams for it too. That that actually works out really well for this uh, ship here. Yeah, very cool. So we got a brig, and yeah, people uh, wanting to see their uh, imprisoned uh, friends <laughs> wait waiting in line there. Um, let's go to the other side over here. Uh, so I think we're just gonna, I think this just wraps around, uh, to the same, yes, to the same area. So I think we're gonna go up a deck from here. So let's go up to, uh, the main hangar, engineering, recreation, hollow deck, sick bay, and mess hall deck, which is, uh, that's, yeah, that's wild. There's a, this is a big ship, by the way. So here's our main hangar. I believe this is gonna join up to that, uh, entry bay we've seen on the back of the ship here i like the way this is kind of arranged too so you've got a lot of uh areas off to the side of the hangar it looks like uh, these areas are built for uh some constructors uh, maybe deconstructors uh basically you could populate this and make it quite a uh, production area and then of course we have our storage controllers uh in between there we have an engineering section over there oh i'm seeing a fusion reactor already through the uh the window there so yeah, it's gonna be uh, doing a quite a bit of power there. Here's uh, here's another section with the constructors already installed in this area. Then we got a uh, uh, emergency sick bay right off from the uh, the hangar, which is really awesome. I like the uh, the really bright light in here and the uh, generally white uh, appearance of it. it. Looks uh, looks like it would be a pretty credible sick bay. Of course, we got to have our facilities in there, and we got some uh, preparation station on the other side. That's cool. So yeah, that's that's uh, very convenient too, right at the edge of the hangar door. So as soon as you come in, you've got your armor repair, an armor locker, fridge, food processor, a couple small constructors, uh, actually several fridges, a little bit of storage boxes in there as well. So yeah, I would say that this area kind of looks like it would be the main crafting area here. Let's go in one of these side rooms, check out the engineering section here and that's back to the elevator uh let's go this way here ah so we got kind of a uh a little wraparound walkway here and we get into the bulk of this engineering area and yeah big old uh fusion reactor in there that looks really cool i like the uh display on that uh cool cool choice of textures for like the ceiling and and stuff around it there kind of lights it all up and uh yeah this looks really cool too so yeah these are just thrusters but uh, all the block work was kind of built around to accent those uh thrusters on the sides here and also give you access to them in case you need to repair them from inside the ship or whatnot um, and then it looks like we got a, a whole section over here of small shield parts um at least four on this side and i went uh, i'm pretty sure well we'll check it out but i'm pretty sure the room on the other side would probably be a, more of a mirror of this side so you would kind of double up everything you see here so if you see four of the small shield parts just put another four there for filling the full eight you can put in as well as another fusion reactor but yeah very very cool looking uh engineering uh fusion reactor slash small shield part room so let's get back over here actually i think we're gonna wanna here i'm gonna just uh, make sure i was right on that um yeah, okay, so here's the rest of our shield parts, the second fusion reactor, whatnot. Yes, yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, so let's go upstairs here. Uh, that was off to the side here. Yes. All right, so we're going to go up to two. Uh, wait a minute, I did not see everything on this deck. Um, no, a sick, yeah, there's a mess hall, there's a hollow deck. I'm missing stuff, so uh, let's uh, let's not go to the next deck yet. Let's uh, find the big missing areas here. Let me walk over this way a little bit and see if we've got... Oh, yeah, we probably got a door right off the front side here. Let's go this way. Yes, there we are. Oh, look at all that LCD work, too. That That is really, really cool. These are such detailed LCDs, too. I mean, looking at them, like, right in front of your face, they're very, very sharp. You're not seeing... Um, I don't know, uh, messy things. Um, very, very clean, clear. All the lines are straight and very, very much lined up. Um, that looks really cool. Definitely does. So, yeah, this looks like a, uh, yeah, uh, like a bridge or a sub-bridge, um, which is really, really cool. 
Got a bunch of crew members around the area here. Um, let's see. So we got an elevator going that way. Let's go out this way. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Quite a bit of uh, space over here. Okay, here's our sick bay. The uh, main sick bay. Let's go check this out. Uh, very cool. Again, nice and clean. Like the tile floor. Got a uh, doctor over there as well. And all the equipment you would want in a sick bay. And, uh, yeah, uh, toilet and shower over there. Let's see what's upstairs here. Oh, wow. Oh, check this out. That's cool, too. The LCD. Were, oh, that's even animated down there. Like your your uh, heart monitor kind of thing. That, that's really cool. Kind of right in front of the, uh, the beds here. And yeah, a very nice uh, setup with that. Um, I'm not sure if I should walk out this way or not yet. Unless, uh, why not? Let's see. So, man, we got stuff everywhere. I might have uh, jumped a deck here. Um, I do got to find that hollow deck, though, and I think that would be on a floor below, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I'm getting lost. Wow, this is a wide ship, too, because I'm not going towards the front or back here. This is one of the sides. And, yeah, we've got the... Uh, a big uh, crew area, kind of lounge, uh, cafeteria. Um, I'm sure that it's called a little bit, something a little bit different in Star Trek shows. But, yeah, very, very cool setup here. Again, I like the uh, color contrast, uh, adding in, like, that red and the different shades of gray and things like that. Gives it a lot of uh, neat uh, cosmetics there. And, yeah, nice uh, couch area. Even, oh, yeah, we got uh, our TV here. We can uh, we can play this game. Anybody want to play that game? <laughs> Uh, very cool. Yeah, I like that. I I seen that LCD already. Although I've been oohing and on about that. That that's very uh slick LCD there. What we got over here? Ah, gravity generator room. I definitely feel like I'm gonna get lost in this ship, though. I I'm already starting to get lost. Uh, I think we're back on that first deck. Uh, yeah, deck one. But I did not see the hollow deck yet. Or, uh, oh, wow, <laughs> or, or this room here. Okay, wow, jeez. So we got another giant uh, shield room here. This is for our large shield parts. Really cool uh, display there. It doesn't look like, uh, it looks like the author uh, has left out some parts intentionally to probably lower the CPU, uh, lower the uh, initial cost getting into this creation. And we have a bunch of medium shield parts over here as well. Very cool. More uh, crew members around here. And, yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So you can definitely get some more uh, shielding in here. Although it looks like it's going to be set up pretty good already. And maybe they were left out uh, on purpose. Uh, I kind of do that, too. I, I realize with shielding that if you add too many chargers, it's uh, it's got that negative effect where it reduces your total shield strength. And I don't like that at all. So it's like I don't think I would ever run a full complement of shielding on a ship because the negative effects of adding a uh, fast recharge rate is really counterproductive to your total shield strength, which I think is quite important. And uh, here we are. We are at the hollow deck. I'm excited. What is he? Okay. So, and, well, let's just check out that gravity room there. But, uh, let's, uh, oh, check it out. Check it out. Oh, that's cool. So we got this going on here. Uh, loaded simulation, uh, Californian bar, <laughs> Californian bar. Oh, look at this. It's all like high tech and everything. Oh, well, that's cool. Very nice uh, setup there walking into this. Got our crew members all around. I like the hardwood floor in here. Yeah, very cool. I like the uh, kind of more of an orange or uh, color tone in there. Nice, nice. Got it. You got it. Got to have the holodecks. Got to have the holodecks. So let's walk through this uh, visible wall here. That's weird how it's kind of. Uh, I removed it by hitting this button here, but it sort of draws it back in there, which is actually kind of neat. It probably does that on purpose to make, so you don't have that disillusion of seeing the uh, like the holodeck uh, terminal machine. That's a pretty slick idea there. Anyway, very very cool um, on this. So let's, uh, man, where does this go? 
Oh, wow. Look at this. Wow. These people got it nice on this ship. Look at this. We've got like a sauna in here. That's cool. That's uh, That was unexpected. I like the, uh, again, really cool looking LCDs. I love that, like almost like a console controller kind of uh, arrow pad there. That, that, that's, that's pretty slick. Oh, we got a swimming pool. Heck yeah. So we definitely must be in the recreational area here. Um, and this is, uh, this is cool. This is very cool. Oh, look at that. A little like, uh, a little like hot tub off to the side there as well. Wow. I want to be on this ship. I mean, if you're going to get stationed somewhere, you want to be on a ship like this. It's got like everything going on here. Um. I'm not sure where I'm at now, but it definitely looks like a crew uh, quarter area here. Yeah, nice and clean again. Some red, red accents in there. And we kind of uh, looped around back to the sick bay. And then this should head back over to the hangar. There's quite a ship to walk. It really is. There is a lot of uh, places to check out. I'm only on, like, um, deck one here. Anyway, I might have missed something on that deck, but I think I hit the uh, the main attractions here. So let's go up to deck two. Oh, wow, got a little waiting area off here. And deck two, uh, let's see what we got on here. We've got a transporter, sick bay. A lot of sick bays on the ship. Um, sick bay here, hydroponics, mess hall, and warp core. Yeah, look at that, another sick bay. I think, okay, so we already kind of walked up here. I uh, kind of hit a little bit of this uh, deck uh, from the other deck, taking a different way. Um, but let's check out some of these missing rooms, like the warp core here. Oh, that's a cool setup. I like how that's kind of half embedded into the uh, the floor there with, uh, like, the uh, framework around it. That looks really cool. Of course, the NPC crews and all the uh, uh, computers and monitors and things like that. Very fitting. Nice uh, display of the uh, warp warp core area, and we got a transporter room over here. Oh, that's cool. I like I like what was done up on the ceiling there. Cool uh, block shaping with the uh, texture lights on there. And uh, I always feel compelled to walk up to one of these to see if they automatically turn on. It's just a thing with me. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's head this way. Okay, so that's uh, back to the uh, the elevator area. Uh, let's quick walk around this area, see if there's some other areas like hydroponics that I missed. And this room over here. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of different rooms in here. Uh, what's going on in here? Oh wow. Okay, so kind of like a uh, like a Jeffrey's tube kind of opening there. And then right into hydroponics looks like the uh, grill plots were left out uh, for now which uh, really works out pretty good it uh, again helps you get the ship in a little easier so you don't have to build all the grill plots uh, ahead of time you can uh, put them in after the fact which is a great a great way to go about it and I like this too the irrigation scheduling system uh, again a lot of really really cool LCD work throughout the ship as well but yeah great looking farm area obviously we got some grow light uh, our grow light switch back over there and our food processors and fridges over on this side so it looks like that would work out great uh, let's see let's head this way so we've seen the transporter room and the warp core um, I think that would be it on this one uh, hydroponics yeah we checked out that mess hall mess hall I think we've seen that. Yeah, that's the room off to the side over here. Let me just cruise that way again. Make sure uh, I did actually see it here. Where is that? This way. Yes, okay. We've already been there. Okay, so I keep on kind of looping around. Sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's get up to the next floor here. Or deck. Uh, so we're at deck three now. So we got our uh, core room and our crew area here, it looks like. And quite a massive hallway structure here as well. And there is our shield room. That's cool. I, uh, yeah, that looks really neat. I like how it's uh, 
you kind of you walk in and you're kind of looking down at it and so all kind of uh built into a section over there looks like we have some uh, uh advanced generators we could pop in here as well in this room if we need some more uh generators obviously it's got a at least two fusion reactors in here right now so i don't not sure if you need them but maybe if you really uh get all the shielding and everything going on uh to its maximum potential on this ship uh you might might need more power maybe but it's nice to have that as an option for sure and we got uh, looks like a crew room over here and i bet we got uh oh there's a, yeah a crew room on this side as well cool looking crew rooms definitely like that a lot of uh bunk beds and things like that and kind of a uh kind of a mess hall table in there as well and uh wow big ship big ship a lot of places okay so that's back into an elevator let's uh let's go this way uh auxiliary and quantum core room here so this must be the core room and it also looks like our main cpu cores for the uh the build so probably our core 9 setup plus it does have some additional cores in here as well uh right off the gates and then our main C our main core is right up there so yeah very cool and uh let's go up to uh this uh, i think we're actually getting into that kind of sectioned off area here so we're at the uh the bridge top exit uh the bridge top exit area got some utility function right there this goes out to the uh quick access right out of the ship and we are on that like uh second uh deck above the saucer right now oh and look at this oh this must be the main bridge up here wow that is some serious serious lcd work going on in here holy smokes almost looks like a different game it really does it's uh that's 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 crazy so we've got all these animated um lcds and whatnot going on in here great big lcds lots of information uh, and I think a lot of these are rigged into the uh, the ship as well. I don't know if it's uh, probably some P menu options, and it would adjust some of these uh, LCDs to say what's on or off. Oh, and check this out. We've got a kind of a, a top-down uh, layout here too. And it kind of oh, that's that's cool. That is cool. It's kind of pointing to where all these rooms are with the lines. Yeah, very very cool. That is just a lot of. Uh, that's a lot of uh, LCD work in here. Um, I'll try to go a little darker too. I've been. Uh, it's either it's either usually too dark or too light. It's never quite how you want it. But uh, yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. All right, so let's start looking at some stats here and things like that. Um, start with we are size class uh, 15. Unlock level 25, or 34 forward, uh, 17 strafing, 34 lift, 34 reverse, and 34 down. 14 fuel tanks, 8 oxygen tanks. Uh, quite a barrage of uh, weaponry. Most of it is uh, attractable, uh, ret retractable. Um, and then we've got four artillery cannons on here as well. It does uh, sport a actual long-range radar on here, which is really cool. 31 hour and 12 minute build time. I did figure this was going to be a fairly expensive build. Uh, looks like it has seven uh, quantum cores installed uh, stock on here. And obviously, we're uh, a couple fusion reactors are in here, too, for power and uh, sealed assist. And they do actually help with the shields quite a bit uh, with your recharge rate. Um, CPU-wise, yeah, it's uh, it's got the quantums in there. It looks like it's going to need more to get this uh, balanced out. And obviously, there's some upgrade potential beyond that, too. So, I mean, definitely, definitely more of a an endgame ship for sure here. This is a pretty big, uh, uh, pretty big ship. Um, I fear I, I missed a couple areas in that. I'm going to go check out the back hangar right after this, too. Um, I don't think I've necessarily seen that yet. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. How about uh, check out your storage here? So we've got, uh, yeah, looks like the storage is all nice and labeled here. Um, got a lot of fridges there, ammo port side, a couple uh, 320Ks right there, and actually four uh, 320K ammo bays in here. 
Uh, main hangar repair station. Uh, these are boxes here. Just trying to figure out if some of these other ones are actually full-blown uh, storage controllers or not. They say fridges here, so I, f I figured that would be a fridge, yeah. Main hangar, repair station. Um, ju ju uh, just to the author, too. Um, hangar in this uh, way is spelled with an A-R at the end and not an uh, E-R. I made the same mistake when I started building and made my first ship and did the same thing. And then someone pointed that out to me, and I was like, oh, whoops, and I... Uh, memorize it so now if i ever see that which i see that a lot actually um that i just try to throw that out there um so we do have more big storage in here and that is these uh, we got this star, uh, starboard uh side one and two looks like they're both 640ks and i want doubt we have a port one and two as well uh 640ks there as well so yeah we do have quite a lot of storage on here then we got prep area. It does say a box there. Um, so I think the four 640s plus the four 320s for ammo storage, I believe, would be uh, the main bulk of the storage, besides a lot of boxes and refrigerators and things like that. So again, yeah, very, very cool. Let me, uh, I'm going to get into God mode a second. I just want to come in through the back and for some reason, um, get a little bit of light going on here too. And I just wanted to make sure I did actually get into this area. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, check that out. We got the big LCD kind of inlet coming in here. Docking. Yeah, that's cool. I like that extension there. I think, yeah, we have been in here already. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I've uh, rec Yeah, our starboard. Uh, we just came in from a different way is all. So, yeah, again, very, very cool uh, build and very, very cool LCD work as well. So, um, again, this is the USS Nimitz RE by Don2K7. Awesome work. Um, both you and Alicia on uh, the LCD work on that. Got to give a lot of credit to the LCD work, too, because that's that that took a while. I'm sure I don't even want to guess how long it took to build that whole set of LCDs. Um, but I'm sure it took quite a, quite a lengthy amount of time. So the next creation here... Uh, I believe I got this right. Let me make sure I got my names right. Yep, yep, it is. All right, so this is the Emerald-Norman uh, by Need More. And this is a uh, pretty uh, pretty unusual creation. It's actually, I, it, it's, uh, God, what is this? I'm not sure if this is a HV or an SV or what is this? Uh, oh, let's go there. This is a hover vessel. I, I couldn't tell because it's a it's a unusual type of creation. It's not a item that you pilot around and shoot up uh, POIs with it in that sense, but it's a, it's a uh, deployable uh, like a gun mount um, with with uh, probably ammo storage in there. So it's got a little generator, a little fuel tank, uh, three turrets, and I'm sure ammo storage in here. So if you're inside a POI and you're just about ready to hit that one lever that you know is going to trigger a mass amount of uh, people that spawn in and try to shoot you up. You could drop one of these down first, um, and then hit the and then hit the lever and have this blast away all the uh, all the dudes on the inside of a POI. Um, and it's really small and compact. Um, I believe it's probably going to be pretty inexpensive as well. But yeah, three uh, three uh, minigun turrets on here. It looks like. And, uh, yeah, really small package there, too. That's cool. That is, uh, it's just a really unique creation. I like how it kind of sits on the ground here, too. It's got the uh, the different landing gear on there, but these uh, the front and back ones kind of make it look almost like it's a Star Wars droid or something like that. Um, something you could probably see in a Star Wars movie or something kind of close to that. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. Unusual creation. Um yeah, when I, when I first spawned it in, too, I was going to try to um, fly it and land it on the landing pad, but it, it sort of just uh, dropped there by itself, which is, which is really cool. Um, anyway, let's take a look at uh, some specs on this one here. So, very inexpensive. Uh, also, on the unlock level, unlock level 5, um, it doesn't actually move. It doesn't have thrusters on here. Again, you just kind of spawn it. It's a stationary, like, sentry gun that you can drop yourself. Uh, it's got the three minigun turrets on there. Four minute and 53 second build time and ultra inexpensive as well. 
So that makes it even more practical. I mean, early game, you know, you're taking on your first POI and you're like level five. Uh, you can get one of these in pretty darn easily and uh, use this to assist in taking down POIs, or at least on the inside of them. You could maybe deploy one of these on the outside of a POI. I don't know how it would do against uh, uh, actual like POI uh, exterior turrets and things like that. Um, but, you know, it'd be worth finding out because it's so inexpensive. Maybe you could get a couple of these, a couple, two or th three of these uh, kind of set up in your uh, factory and then uh, put them down all at once. Uh, that'd be an interesting way to go about it too. But very, very cool creation. Well thought out here. Uh, it's super inexpensive. So it's a tier. It basically just has a core um, in it and there's no uh, basic or anything like that too. And that, of course, helps keep the, uh, the cost down on it. Um, and, uh, just want to see it. This is probably, yeah, 125 for ammo storage. And honestly, that would probably work for this. Uh, these, uh, the 15 millimeter ammunition that, uh, these turrets use are pretty, pretty lightweight and, uh, easy to store. So you could get a fair amount of ammunition even at 125 for your ammo storage on there. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So. Yeah, other than that, I think that's about uh, it. I can, I can, I could look at its storage in here, but yeah, there's not much to see. I don't think. Yeah, 125 ammo bay. Yeah, very, very cool. Again, this is the Emerald Norman, um, and Norman has uh, is kind of like set up like a big acronym. I don't exactly know what that means, but it might. Uh, the word Norman uh, might translate to uh, a bunch of different words. Um, Again, this is by Need More. Very, very cool creation here. All right, so the next one, pretty unusual creation over here as well. This is the AI Tower RE by Alicia. So the same author that made all those LCDs in the uh, USS Nimitz over there has made this uh, really cool, interesting tower, kind of solar tower. Um, and I before I... Uh, when I was spawning everything in, unfortunately, my little gag joke is failing. Um, I had a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, bikes over here, or motorbikes, um, and uh, because of the sign here, <laughs> and I was uh, they're they're protesting outside, but it looks like they all kind of uh, turned into little weird blocks here now instead of their actual motorbike form. They're they're protesting on the outside of the tower here, and I just was going to make a thing of that, but that sucks. They all. They all turned into little blocks now. I guess they got scared. <laughs> but let's check out this tower here. Really cool setup here with a solar uh, uh, set. Uh, the way it kind of angles out at each tier. Like the uh, the red accents there as well. Cool looking uh, design work with uh, thin blocks on the sides of this. Um, yeah, and a whole row of solar panels call all angled up going up to the top of the tower. Which also has wind power going on in here it almost does kind of look like a uh, an actual rooftop of a uh, of a building uh, with all the different like the air conditioning and and whatnot going on on the roof which is very typical for a uh, let's see high-rise buildings I do have some defense up here it looks like we got a uh, cannon turret up over here and probably yeah it looks like three different cannon turrets around the uh, upper perimeter of this and uh, I believe the function of this building is actually probably a whole lot of storage and it gets its power from the sun and wind, uh, which is really, really cool. And it's, uh, it doesn't allow motorbikes. And yeah, you know, that's just, it's just one of those things, I guess. Uh, you know, it's, uh, they're, they're a little, you got to watch those motorbikes. There's, there's uh, biker gangs traveling all around here. They're going to probably take offense to that. Um, but let's get on the inside here on the uh, this hangar. Oh, it looks like I've got this a little bit sunk into the ground, a little too far here. I was trying to trying to make it so it kind of lined up to the ground, but not didn't do this. So I apologize for that. We got a little ground seepage in here. But yeah, very cool on the bottom side here. So this is more than the storage. This is like a uh, this is actual a, a legit base here. So we've got a repair bay, uh, crafting in here. I'm sure storage. Uh, some storage boxes, utility functions, uh, armor repair. Oh, I like the LCD work on, kind of mounted around that. That's I, I don't think I've seen that before. 
That is really cool. Our armor locker, deconstructor over here, restrooms. Got to have the restrooms. Heck yeah. And yeah, uh, a little bit different on either side. But this is cool. This is really, really cool. Um, again, I apologize for the floor. There's probably legit flooring down there. We also have a med bay and a teleporter over here. And it looks like another uh, row of boxes here. This is still my favorite box as well. It's kind of the one I, uh, my go-to box if I'm going to pick a box. Got to mix it up now and then, but that one's just nice and detailed. Definitely like that. And then we've got, uh, this is interesting. Oh man, does this, oh, does this have an under? Okay, so it doesn't go to, okay, good. I was, I was worried suddenly, I was like fearing that I had a basement too, which I was totally gonna foobar with this uh, train coming through here, but uh, it does not look like that. So let's go up the tower here. Uh, oh wow, check this out. Yeah, this is a lot more than I thought it was. I thought this was just a, uh, solar like storage facility and it's it's a lot more than that so we got a uh, farming section up in here too really really cool i didn't realize that and yeah, all the grow lights up there so yeah yeah it's a, it's a full-blown base with all your uh, utility function and furnaces i'll check that out i yeah, do not touch nice looking uh, furnace uh, set up there keeps them out of the way so you don't fry yeah, furnaces are kind of like uh, generators. You, you got to kind of keep the player like one block away from them or you're going to get um, effects. In this case, kind of medium-ish heat. Uh, it's not as bad as a thruster, but it's uh, still, uh, there's some heat in there. And then we come up to the, uh, the top floor here, which is, wow, there's a lot going on in here too. So we got a whole row of solar capacitors. Um, and we got a generators. Uh, our, our, it's got a shield in here. Uh, oxygen storage, fuel storage. It uh, looks like a lot of storage uh, controllers up there as well. And then our CPU core blocks, Pentaxid tank. I like this. Uh, it's kind of neat. That's uh, it's different. I haven't seen that block formation or uh, really done up like that before. So yeah, cool. I'm always looking for those kinds of things. Uh, unusual combinations of blocks or uh, doing blocks in a different way to kind of create a different uh, a cool looking effect or design style, uh, stuff like that. So that, that is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Just little things like that. Um, so up here, I, yeah, I guess I am flying around. I should have been walking. Sorry about that. It's uh, easy to forget. And we got all our storage controllers there. And I think uh, the elevator stopped here, so I think that is the uh, it for the interior space that you can uh, you can walk through at least. Um, yeah, very cool, very cool. It's not what I thought it was. I just I thought this was a more of a utility creation. You could drop down on a planet uh, and store a lot of stuff. Uh, speaking of storing a lot of stuff, let's see what this does store. That looks really cool with the uh, the color work on here too, and then I. So now I'll notice, especially when it's a little darker, that you can see those texture lights kind of popping through there as well. Anyway, let's look, look at some numbers here. So unlock level 20, size class 4. Uh, we got five fuel tanks, uh, six oxygen tanks in here. Obviously, it is solar supported um, and wind power, so I, I it might just balance it all out, too. I'm not sure exactly, but... Um, it does have some legit generators in there, too, which is always a good idea um, on a solar creation. Um, otherwise, uh, solar has a way of, uh, if the batteries don't get charged enough, it'll, uh, like, blink on and off all the time. It's really annoying. So uh, having a backup generator in there is great as well. So we do have three cannon turrets, six-hour and 53-minute build time, a little bit of Z uh, Estrum and Zacosium, 54 grow plots installed in there. Uh, we got five wind turbines. Uh, yeah, and five wind tur turbine bases. Uh, CPU-wise, uh, pretty light on CPU. Um, it does have, uh, definitely have, have like a basic CPU core in here. In fact, uh, let me check out, uh, the core systems here. And yeah, we do have a core. So basically one basic and two improved cores in this, uh, setup here, which is not bad at all. It avoids the advanced cores completely. And just gives you a lot of uh, a lot of function here and a nice, uh, pretty tall and unique uh, player base. 
Uh, speaking of storage, uh, so we got an ammo controller at 320k. Um, that one there is a box. We've got some other controllers. Oh, some big ones too. We got one, two, three, four, 640k storage bays in there. And I think the rest of these are boxes. A lot of boxes, um, which is very cool. Nice for uh, sorting out all the uh, smaller quantity items. Uh, handguns and all kinds of things. <laughs> uh, player uh, upgrade uh, armor parts and things like that. Yeah, again, very, very cool. Very, very cool. The, the, only, the, the only problem, again, you gotta, you got to watch it with this, uh, this particular rule of the no motorbikes. It's going to probably cause some issues with, uh, you know, some of the, the biker gangs out there and things like that. But, um, you know, I understand, you know, rules are rules. <laughs> anyway, again, this is the uh, AI Tower RE by Alicia. Very, very cool. All right, let me get the lights back on. Let's go take a look at the next creation here. Um, and this is the uh, SSW... Oh, how do I say that correctly? Uh, curves? All right, K-I-R-V-E-S. Reforged Agile Heavy Cruiser by... Stan 2112. So this looks like it is a combat focused CV. Um, here, and I think it's out of fuel. So let's uh, let's fix that right now. Oh no, it's not out of fuel. It's just not turned on is all. All right. There we go. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I like the uh, the color scheme on it. That is uh, cool. It's got kind of the uh, the the yellow texture lights in there and the uh, the a light blue setup. I like the uh, the grays involved in here as well. Pretty uh, complex block work going on in here. A lot of a lot of detail wherever you wherever you look. Uh, just uh, really neat shaping. It does look like a kind of a tried and true uh, uh, combat CV where this is probably going to have some decoys in it and a lot of armor, um, and then you have a lot of your main weaponry and things kind of pushed back. So the AI basically gets fixated on shooting the front part of the ship and it's just kind of like it does that on purpose just to get the ai to shoot at that part of the ship well the ai gets creamed by all the uh guns in the back that it's not smart enough to realize so it is it is a very good uh strategy for uh building combat cvs here cool looking thruster housing too i like the uh the layers in there um and the different colored texture lights too it's kind of got some red going on in there kind of makes it look like it's uh I don't know, hot, I guess you could say, <laughs> uh, on the inside there. And it probably is, actually, because there's a great big old thruster there, too. And we have our strafing thruster out the back. Um, another very uh, uh, staple of a combat CV like this, because you want to keep your thrusters and stuff away from the front of the ship. So this is a great location to put them kind of in the back. And, uh, yeah, pretty thrusty, too. I'm just taking a look at it. It's, it looks like it's using all of the larger drive thrusters or XL thrusters on here and uh yeah very cool looking thruster housings on the side there yeah just the layout looks uh like it would really work in game here we've got a uh, first person cockpit over uh here it looks like we're probably we may have another cockpit in here or we may not this is actually even at that location it's pretty far away from the uh the nose of the ship which i'm sure i'll fly through this uh, actually let's just do that right now I want to fly through here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be set up with decoys. And there we are. Um, got a detector up there. I think there's a spotlight kind of built in here, too. A little little baby generator. Uh, it's basically saying, shoot me, shoot me. And I'm sure all the block work in here is, it looks like a, kind of looks like we're seeing a lot of combat steel in here. Uh, I'm not sure if there's Xeno blocks, too, but we definitely have some combat steel layers um, in here. Again, just designed to take a whole lot of hits on the front side here. And then we got a lift thruster kind of built in here. These things actually do have a lot of hit points as well. And then once you get uh, through enough of this area, then uh, the actual ship will start. Oh, look at this sneaky little decoy back over here as well. So we got a full-blown turret just chilling in here too. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Obviously, we can see some shield parts already on the inside. And, oh yeah, we got some launchers over here on the side, kind of discreetly tucked away there a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely meant to blow you up. Uh, <laughs> that is 
that is its goal in life from what I can tell right now. I might have some other function on it as well. Uh, maybe all the function of a full bone like base, but uh, it is definitely, I would say, its key focus is to blow you up. <laughs> so, very, very cool. All right, so let's, uh, I'm kind of looking around for a way in right now. I like how this kind of lands like flush on its uh, hull here, too. You can kind of see the landing gear kind of match with that block work on the bottom right there. Um, and yeah, all kinds of turrets all over the place here. All right, so how uh, how do we get aboard here? Uh, there's probably a way over here, is there? Yes, there is. All right, so, uh, let me get out of God mode. I will adjust the light as soon as I get in here as well. Or, let me turn on my jetpack here. There we go. So looks like we're just kind of, right here. Let's get the lights. All right, so we're up to this. Uh, yeah, this is uh. Interesting. It's kind of like it's really compact in here. Again, it's a pretty armored ship, and I'm, you know, the way I was seeing it, it certainly looks like it's has a strong focus on combat. Uh, so we got some medium shield parts around this area over here. It looks like, uh, God, what is there? Two right over on this side. I'll have to look around the ship and see what its total shielding is as well. Got a fusion reactor in here. Ooh, this is really this is a. Cer certainly means business here. It looks like our Pentax tanks right over there. Um, I believe there's a part down there too. Maybe we'll find a, a, a walkway that heads that direction. CPU, uh, our CPU core blocks over here. High heat area. And I think this kind of walks around to the uh, kind of the same on the other side here. And yeah, this this whole area. Oh wow, that's a second fusion reactor, isn't it? Is that? Well, what? No, that's a that's a that's a large shield part. My my bad. One fusion reactor, and the other piece back there is a large shield part. Okay. Um. And then we, oh yeah, look at that. That's just a constructor right there. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, it's kind of uh. And there's our warp drive. Um. So. <laughs> Let me, uh, come on. Oh, I must have turned my jetpack off somehow again. And let's get up to this this floor here. And we got a, uh, looks like a couple uh, controllers in the sides there. And then we're uh, kind of walking above some of these uh, medium shield parts here. Again, it probably looks like it's uh, got quite a lot of those in, in installed in this ship here. We'll, again, have to take a look at the, uh, the total shield on this but uh, yeah they're all over the place i would um well, it looks like a small shield part down there as well and then our main shield so definitely a shield room here and uh let's go up to here and i bet you we're gonna get right up into the bridge got some utility function right in the area it looks like uh oh i can't turn on my light now why can't i turn on my light i don't know i guess i, I guess i can't turn on my uh my, uh, I thought I had armor on. Gotta find one of these here armor lockers. Yeah, I got armor on. Why can't I turn it on light? Hmm, no idea. It's weird. I turned it on before I did the video. I was looking at some things and turned on my little uh, suit light, but it does not seem to be interested on turning on, turning on at this point in time. And then we're right up to the bridge. So yeah, it just again it um it is pretty it is a uh, dedicated combat ship i mean it does have uh some production and things like that in it and utility uh getting healed up and whatnot but it is certainly a uh, combat focused ship uh and it looks like it would do a really good job too uh this this setup is uh a, a, re a really good setup for uh, building uh, combat cvs here I've seen it uh, quite a few times, and it generally always works. Um, so, very, very cool ship here. I was just kind of looking around to see if I missed some other uh, neat neat things going on here. It doesn't look like it uh, does any, like, hangar space or any of that. Uh, pretty much the inside area is filled up with, uh, you know, fusion rack here and a bunch of shield parts of uh, various origins. Uh, so, let's take a look at some numbers here. So we are uh, unlocked level 25, size class 5. Uh, I appear to have the thrusters off. Let me 
get those out. Let me turn on that shield there too. Oh, the shield. Looks like we're going to be 90,000 and a little slightly above 90,000 on our total shield strength. So a big shield on this for sure. Uh, so, okay, size class 5, uh, 12 fuel tanks, 4 oxygen tanks, quite a barrage of weapons on here. Some uh, Reforged Eden unique weapons like the EMP cruise missiles and these modulated laser turrets. Uh, we got a, quite a lot of artillery cannons on here too, so that's, those are fun. Uh, heavy laser turrets. Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, ready to shoot you up. Um, fast too, look at the, the numbers here. Uh, 61 forward, 41 strafing. 61 lift, 41 reverse, 41 down. Really good uh, roll, y'all, and pitch numbers on there as well. Uh, CPU-wise, okay, it, uh, it is going to need additional CPU. Uh, one way or another, whether it's quantum or auxiliary cores or depending on the server and whatnot, uh, but it will need a decent amount of CPU added onto it to get it operational. It's probably why the thrusters were turned off by default so it won't blow any uh, generators or anything like that um, that's typical uh, typical way to go about that and let's take a look at some storage on here so there we go nicely uh, color-coded and labeled storage on here so we got our main cargo storage at 328k looks like we have two ammo bays at 320 each uh, salvage bay at 320 as well food and meds i think the rest of these are boxes uh for but yeah very nice uh, i like i love this double color layout here the way the uh, uh all the storage control uh, storage uh, controller pieces are uh labeled very very nice yeah yeah nice uh nice hefty uh combat ship here for sure very very cool and this again is the ssw uh Curves, uh, Reforged Agile Heavy Cruiser by Stan 2112. Uh, very, very cool ship. And yeah, it is very agile too. If you had those specs, this thing would fly like a little SV um, when you're out there uh, blowing up uh, enemy spaceships there. So, very, very cool. All right, so uh, I guess I didn't get the lights back on. Let's go there with this. So the next creation here, this is the... Uh, Aragama Conjurer class by uh, Procon Loader. Um, this is a. This looks like another combat ship, a uh, smaller scale. Um, I wouldn't doubt this is more in the Core Nine specifications. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely looks kind of. Again, you can kind of see some similar, a little bit of similarities in the way this is designed. And I bet if I fly through the nose here, it's. Uh, oh well, we got actually it looks like a radar right there. Okay, okay, we're kind of getting to the nitty gritties a little bit sooner here, but we do have some very tough blocks, a couple layers of uh, uh, hardened blocks, I would say, over here. Combat steel right in this, this general area. And let's look at the rest of this here. And I, I like the uh, the way it's kind of, a, it keeps on kind of wedging out on uh, probably all four directions here as it kind of uh, goes to the back of the ship, which, again... That layout gives you a lot of nice line of sight turret positions, and the author has used that uh, quite a bit here as well. Again, being a combat ship, but uh, yeah, that's that's cool. I like the uh, general uh, hull of it. It's it's not it's not a real big ship. It's kind of uh, slender, but it, uh, really cool looking. Really really cool looking. I love this uh, these triple artillery launchers up over here as well. That's always fun. I. I like these uh, manual shooting things. I mean, once you get a shield done on an enemy ship, uh, when you could fly around and like target things with like big guns and do big explosions and stuff, that that always is a, a nice thing for the whole overall fun factor of the game as well. Not to mention it's pretty darn effective. Uh, those uh, artillery cannons do have a uh, uh, do do some pretty good damage. But yeah, really cool looking hole on here, like the. Uh, like some of the slightly different shaded uh, color lines in here, uh, like a darker gray, lighter gray kind of thing. Um, and then we do have like a red accent on the back here. It does look like we have a landing pad. Also, I think this uh, thruster housing setup here, that looks really, really cool. I love the angles on the on the corners on how the block work was done there. That That is really neat. It kind of goes with that center kind of... Uh, uh, 
shape in the in the middle there. It just it all works together really well. Yeah, very very cool. I just you know again, it looks like it. This one looks very dedicated to be a combat ship. I'm just curious on its stats and things like that. Well, let's find a way aboard. Let's see if we got a. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got a one entry way over here at least. Let's uh, get in there and uh, get up to. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're right into the business. Um, let me adjust the lighting here a bit, and I'm gonna get out of God mode. And as soon as you walk in over here, we've got our main shield. Looks like some, uh, probably a full pack of eight small shield parts right there. And we got a medium shield part on this side, and then we got additional locations on either side over here for more uh, medium shield parts. And I believe this is Xeno. No, this is hardened steel. Looks like Xeno, but it's actually hardened steel. I just thought I'd check that. So, but uh, reinforced area here. And then over here, we've got a uh, gravity generator uh, constructor. And uh, then we get into our main core back over here. And then it looks like we're kind of making our way up to, oh, right off the top of the ship there. Interesting. Okay, so this is utility on this side and a quick entry point from the top of the ship. And I would assume, nope, I thought this was going to be the bridge right here, but this is actually like a... Uh, uh, cafeteria uh, crew area section of the ship here yeah nice looking uh, nice looking uh, interior setup here oh and then we got our captain seat way in back over here oh that's cool and this would kind of uh, butt up to that uh, landing pad that we've seen out the back oh I like that uh, secondary blast door behind here as well so yeah then we got the landing pad in the back very convenient you can hop uh, land something jump right in Cool looking LCD work here too. Definitely like that. Seeing the targets on the uh, grid map. Conjurer class. Yeah, very, very nice. Oh yeah, some medical stuff over here. At least uh, one of those parts, armor repair. Our main med bay, uh, another uh, additional medical piece. Yeah, so just right to the point. Uh, again, meant to meant to blow everything up here and and that's and we kind of need that kind of stuff for imperium so definitely another combat ship like back to back i believe this one you know it's uh gonna be a little uh less less money i think because it's running uh just less less uh big parts and stuff on it but anyway let's uh let me get into god mode here and take a look at some specs All right, so to start with here, we are unlock level 25, size class 2, uh, 52 forward, 26 strafing, 52 lift, 26 reverse, 26 down. Uh, again, pretty a uh, lot of roll. Uh, Y'all is pretty good. Pitch is pretty good. Uh, eight fuel tanks, four oxygen tanks, long range radar on here. We got uh, eight positrons, uh, four missile turrets, and three artillery cannons. Uh, 13 hour and 24 minute build time is going to use some estrum and zacosium but you know any any combat cv is going to uh, yeah very cool there of course the advanced upgrade kit that's probably for the long range radar and look at that oh wow this is actually a little bit lower i thought it was going to be pressed right to the edge of 2.1 million cpu but it actually has a good like almost 150,000 uh, cpu left over that you could uh, install some additional parts with right off the gates here, which is uh, awesome. Uh, Storage-wise, uh, oh, nicely. Oh, wait, let's look at the uh, right ship here. Uh, so, cargo, we got a 320K cargo. We got some boxes, all nicely labeled. Got an ammo bay at 320K as well. I think that's it for the uh, large ones beyond the, uh, the boxes. Again, pretty much a dedicated a uh, combat rolled ship and obviously when you're looking around the hall here too i believe there's a lot of additional turret mount locations on here um and you could uh slap on turrets basically at any open three by three space on here but uh some of them are labeled um and there's probably a lot of other opportunities to stick on more turrets if you got the uh the cpu and stuff built up for that kind of looks like another turret could go is meant to go right over there and whatnot um 
yeah, very, very cool ship here. So again, this is the uh, Argama uh, Conjurer class by Pro, uh, Procon Lotzer. Very, very, very cool. Uh, again, kind of like a, if you want to go with the, uh, this one's a, you know, obviously a higher end ship, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, and this one was kind of meant to do similar functionality, but uh, definitely uh, toned down a little bit and does not require as much CPU. Of course, it's not going to have the shielding or anything like that. Speaking of shielding, uh, what does it have? 30,000 shielding on this one. So, yeah, not a, not a bad shield strength at all for being uh, in the Core 9 specification for a combat CV. Very cool. All right, so next creation here. This is the LYC MDS-9 by uh, Lycanthrope. Or Ly Lycanthrope. Um, really cool looking uh, dual cockpit SV. That's pretty interesting. I like how that's kind of, it's kind of arranged like some of those, uh, uh, some, some fighter bombers and uh, attack helicopters and things like that. And I, I like this, uh, this setup here with these thruster pods on the side and this kind of like reverse angled wings going on here. That, that it's, so it's kind of like a, it, it really is more of like a helicopter design. Um, but it's kind of, you know, yeah, that's, that's neat. That is neat. Kind of like a big, powerful uh, helicopter here. Yeah, I like this tail section here, too. That's neat with the... Uh, you can obviously see a bunch of down thrusters in there. Cool looking color scheme on this one as well. Like the uh, the yellow accents on there, and it's kind of uh, multiple tones of kind of a kind of a gray blue shade on this one. Really, uh, more of a gunmetal type of look. Yeah, uh, got some white in there too. Yeah, very very cool looking uh, SV. Kind of trying to look at uh, what it might have for uh, weapons. I'm not necessarily seeing any guns on here that are jumping. Oh, there's one. Uh, there's a turret right down over there. But it looks like it's pretty light on weaponry, at least stock. I'm not sure. Maybe there's some hidden hidden guns around here, too. But, uh, yeah, we've got that over there. Or maybe the function is completely different. This looks really cool. Again, this really has that, that helicopter... Uh, uh, aesthetics going on here and I love this tail section too um, but of course you know with with Imperium if you try to with blocks uh, oh that that freaked me out I seen some weird things falling over there I was like well what's going on over there um, yeah with uh, yeah what I've seen some helicopters where they try to draw out the uh, the helicopter blades and stuff like that but since they don't spin and your detail levels are really low, I, I actually prefer to see like helicopter creations without the blade. Unless there is a trick that can be done with LCDs to try to simulate that as well, though. Um, that can look pretty neat, too. But, yeah, this is a cool looking uh, a build here. Let's uh, let's get on, on the inside here. Let me get out of uh, God mode a second. I'm going to try to adjust the lighting. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But uh, let's uh, hit this little green switch over here. All right, so it lights up the area here, and then we hop in. So this is a uh, definitely more of a, from definitely, uh, yeah, a troop transport ship here. Uh, we got O2 in there, or bring in a, like a group of Marines to uh, take on a POI on the inside. Uh, looks like we have a storage controller up over here. Uh, some uh, locations to add some additional, uh, probably CPU blocks, but... That particular size has a lot of functionality to it. One by two can be used for CPU blocks, shield parts, fuel tanks, oxygen tanks, um, and a number of other things. So that's really cool. Yeah, this is neat. This is neat. It's, uh, we've got a Pentaxa tank up in the ceiling there. Looks like we have our Wi-Fi a generator, I believe, I'm seeing up there as well. And yeah, for whatever reason, I cannot turn on a, a light which has really bothered me. I'm not sure why that is. I thought anytime you had armor on, you had a light. And I specifically went and put on armor because I started a new uh, session here. Um, and I don't have a light now. <laughs> so it's kind of bothering me. Not sure why that is. All right, cool. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, uh, like a troop transport uh, special forces kind of uh, helicopter here, which is really, really cool. 
high tech, uh, modern, futuristic looking helicopter, I'll say. A kind of VTOL uh, setup here. Really cool looking thruster housings on the sides here as well. Anyway, let's look at some numbers here. So we are unlock level 15. Oh yeah, not not so not so bad there. I thought it was going to be a higher than that. Uh, size class one, 72 forward, 48 strafing, 52 lift, 56 reverse, 67 down. Very agile creation here. If you look at your other uh, secondary uh, motion like roll and yaw and pitch, um, really agile creation. So it does have a detector and a single laser turret. Uh, five fuel tanks, seven oxygen tanks. Looks like one RCS in here, two hour and 34 minute build time. Uh, pretty inexpensive uh, all the way around here. It's really not trying to push a lot of CPU or, or high price CPU parts and things like that on here. Uh, so it keeps the uh, build cost down quite a lot. CPU wise, pretty light on that too. It looks like, I don't know if I got this wrong. Uh, maybe this was uh, configured right now for vanilla and I am showing it in Reforge Eden. Um, but if it's pulling off these kind of motion numbers in Reforge Eden, this thing would be, um, wow, super fast in vanilla. Super fast. Uh, let's take a look at the device. I just want to see on the uh, core configuration here. It does look like it's kind of got a vanilla setup in here. So it, uh, with Reforge Eden, it looks like you would have to add in probably a basic CPU core to balance this out. And that's a, probably about it. Um, so very, very, very cool setup there. Storage wise, I've got an ammo controller at 1750, container controller at 10k, and then our Pentaxa tank. So right, right to the point there. Quite a bit of uh, regular storage on here. It definitely has the uh, thrust to move that around. Um, and then uh, yeah, just an ammo controller for the for the turret that's on here right now. Again. Of course, if you're going to mod this out, there's uh, several opportunities to add more guns to this. Kind of looks like some of these areas, like over here, are almost set up to mount a uh, like a fixed weapon here, um, and then you could certainly probably mount some additional turrets uh, up on here as well if you wanted to. If you're going to use it for more of a combat role, one thing I did want to see: uh, shield 1485 on here, stock. Uh, did it have a warp drive? It might. Um, I've noticed that a lot of authors have gotten very adept at really hiding a warp drive um, where you didn't think it could possibly fit, and it is. So this does, or jump drive in this case. Um, so yeah, it does have that in there as well. Got to assume if I flew, yeah, there it is, hiding, hiding in the hall back over here. Yeah, very, very cool. So again, this is the LYC MDS-9 by Lycanthrope. Uh, very, very cool creation there. Nice uh, distant to SV. is more of a troop transport role. Um, and that's cool. That could be uh, a lot of fun in game, depending on what, what you're doing. If you're running with a group of people and want to go hit a POI, that is your, a great ship to uh, bring bring everybody in on. All right. So the last creation today, um, let me adjust the lighting a little bit here. We'll go a little brighter. Uh, this is a... Uh, Pretty scary looking one here. This is the X3 Ex Excavator V2 by Artemis Rogue. And uh, this is taking uh, advantage of some of those emitters out there now. And uh, that's kind of what, it actually scared me when I was looking at the other ship. I seen some some things that look like they're falling down to the ground, which actually are just emitters from this ship here. Um, this is cool. This is a, it's not a very big ship. This is a, this is a CV again, obviously uh, an excavator, spelled with an X, um, but one of these great big old CV mechanical drills on the front, and a couple of sentry guns kind of backing that up to, uh, or actually four right there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's, uh, oh, that's one of those uh, alert thingies. <laughs> I forget the exact name. Hey, uh, yeah, alarm sentry, alarm sentry there. So it tells you if there's any uh, incoming bad guys in the area which is pretty cool especially for a miner um like this so yeah mechanical cv drilling uh mining vessel um that also looks like it's kind of really set up to uh defend against a lot of heavy uh, or a lot of drones and things like that too uh, a lot of sentry guns on here a couple uh uh minigun turrets or actually like what four of those 
this fits in with the author's um, uh, theme on this uh, like setup here. So this uh, perfectly matches uh, many of the other author's uh, creations with its uh, overall styling and theme and, and color scheme and all that, which is really, really cool. A whole set of uh, creations there. And it looks like we've got a... Uh, oh, that's cool. So we do have like a very uh, a small... Uh, hanger opening on the back side there and then we got kind of got our cockpit up over here kind of uh, again back from the front of the ship so it's kind of like the way it's configured too it's kind of like a uh, configured like a combat ship would be just on a smaller scale um, so it probably have some you know especially depending on what you're going against um, be fairly decent with combat but it doesn't have the kind of weapons that you'd want to be going against uh, big nasty shielded CVs and stuff with or uh, basically to clear a whole lot of drones out pretty pretty efficiently and uh, get to the mining asteroids, I would say. And the emit the emitters in here that's a that's a cool effect there. It does look like it uh, creates quite a, quite a lot of pollution, um, but uh, you know besides that, it is a mining vessel. I guess you would uh, expect some pollution going on there, but um, you could. Uh, uh, maybe I need some, uh, like, catalytic converters or something on here. I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> that's really cool. I, I love to see the stuff. I think these emitters cause me, I noticed even with uh, me trying to optimize my video settings the best as possible, when I am looking at this, it is causing the frame rate to drop down a little bit when those emitters are going off. So I think that's fairly taxing on um, the... Uh, graphics card um at least at least my graphics card it's getting kind of old though so yeah very cool very cool looking uh minor unusual unusual setup for a minor and honestly looking at the equipment on here and the size of the thrusters and uh the kind of weapons it's using it looks like it's going to be pretty light on cpu usage and i'm thinking that was the point um that this isn't going to cost a whole lot um Anyway, let's get aboard here. Let me uh, lower the lights down a little bit here. And let's see what's going on in here. So, yeah, small little hangar, but it looks like it's uh, really got a lot of functionality here. So we got like a full med bay on one side. We've got uh, small constructors, four of them actually. Got our shield right there, storage controller. Of course, you got to have your toilet and there's uh, the shower uh o2 armor locker fridge your regular med bay detector uh <laughs> food processor uh, uh advanced constructor over here our main core wi-fi and taxi tank we got fuel around here um rcs in here too wow yeah this thing's uh you wouldn't expect a ship this size to have so much stuff right in in here what's uh, it, it does so it's pretty full featured really um and then we go up a floor and you're right up to the bridge here or the uh, the cockpit area here which has a uh, ventilator up here and uh yeah that's cool so it's uh yeah a mining a mining vessel but uh i mean comparatively speaking a cv miner is a generally a fairly good chunk of change uh because you have to get the upgrade kits and get the uh, the mining laser drills and all that stuff rolling on this and this one is um looks like it would be a very cheap alternative to that and i would i really gotta use one of these once uh, and see how this actually works uh, mining asteroids and things like that um if it if it's fairly efficient this would be a really alt uh, lower cost alternative to a traditional cv miner anyway let's look at some numbers here uh unlock level 15 pretty low unlock level for this uh 38 forward uh 25 strafing 51 lift 25 reverse 25 down one fuel tank one oxygen tank uh we've got a lot of these alarm sentries on here six of those uh quite a lot of sentry guns industrial drill module that's the big drill on the front uh minigun four minigun turrets uh, and eight sentry guns so 12 total sentry guns on here. Um, I'm not sure, and I just don't understand. I, I, I kind of, I, I know what these do. They kind of give you that, it gives you like a proximity alert, but uh, I'm not sure why there's so many on here. 
Um, and that, that is my only question. There's probably a reason for it. I just do not know what that reason is, um, why you would have six of these on here. But um, if anybody knows, please uh, throw that in the comments because I'm, I'm curious if there's a uh, good legitimate reason on why you would have so many of these uh, alarms on there. Um, as in its build costs, yeah, I did... Uh, you know, for a CV miner, this is really, really, really super inexpensive. CV miners, again, are generally pretty darn expensive. Um, and this is uh, really light. It's, it's not used in hardly anything in rares um, and whatnot on here. Three hour and 17 minute build time. So, yeah, a really easy creation to get in for a CV miner into game. Um, and quite well defended, too. You could be fairly confident taking this out into areas that with a lot of drones and junk flying around like that. Let's take a look at its storage here. Uh, da, da. So we got a harvest controller at 320K, ammo controller at just under 20K, and I think that's about it. So yeah, the uh, the ammo that this holds, uh, being with your minigun turrets and the sensory guns, they use very light ammo, uh, and you can store a lot of that in a small area. So this is plenty enough storage for the ammo on here and then it's got a nice uh nice good size 320k harvest bay which is really appropriate uh for uh yeah you know you wouldn't probably want to it'd take a quite a bit to fill that up uh, you'd have to get a lot of asteroids before you uh dropped off your uh your ore to some other creation so yeah very very cool plus all the utility function in there and again you know if you had a small enough uh uh other vehicles you could probably fit like some other kind of uh, utility HVSV or something like that in this hangar bay uh, of course have to be pretty pretty small but uh... <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh again I apologize for that throat got really uh, dry there I just could not stop coughing all right I think I'm back to life here hold on sip of drink so anyway that is um it's really cool really really practical uh, creation for game and it looks really cool too i love the accents and the styling again kind of a polluter but you know i i think in the end all that uh all that pollution will you know just kind of uh go away anyway so i think i think it's good <laughs> other than that um yeah, that, that is it for this week. That is uh, a lot of uh, really, really cool creations. Again, just a variety of different stuff from a player base to some really um, some uh, intuitive uh, little uh, turret gun uh, POI piece over here. And that looks really cool as well. Some uh, couple different like level uh, combat ships. And then, of course, you got to have the uh, the big end game uh, Star Trek ship with all the fancy LCDs, the full the player base over there. Yeah, very very cool. And uh, other than that, uh, that is it for this week. And uh, you all have yourself a great weekend. I will talk to you later.